Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole. If you're new here, welcome. Okay, a little update. It is the Friday the 7th. I am almost exactly four weeks out from my bikini, from my competitor showcase, which is gonna be my bikini fitness competition. So currently I'm just vlogging and showing you guys what I eat, what I'm doing, and just little pieces of my life. Right now it's Friday morning, it is 11 a.m. I got my period yesterday, but today's like, it's really raging. So I try to still go to the gym when I am on my period, just because I think it helps with like cramps, and everything but we're struggling a little bit we're having a slower morning so i'm going to yoga at 12 30 that's what we're getting ready for now uh i got skin pen micro needling two days ago so my skin's so fucking dry so dry it's starting to like i don't know if you can see you probably can't see but it's literally it's starting to like peel off and you can kind of see some of the marks like if my skin looks a little like irritated and red that's what it is i need so much hydration right now but i'm excited for the results i've never gotten any sort of micro needling before it's supposed to like stimulate collagen and just help tighten everything because basically it makes a bunch of like little lesion lesion lesions it makes a bunch of like little cuts in your skin essentially and then when that happens your skin tries to heal it produces collagen blood rushes to the surface all this stuff it's really good to help rejuvenate your skin make it glowier make it tighter we love collagen we want natural collagen yeah and it helps with like um if you have any sort of like scarring or anything like that i got the micro pen though the pen i don't think is as invasive as like a, a real micro needling thing i'm posting a video on it on my or my instagram and my tiktok if you want to see the process essentially it's just it's the healing process isn't as bad but i am starting to kind of like flake i think i'm gonna be like shedding a layer of skin and then it's gonna be baby smooth soft i actually can't believe how dry my skin is right now like it almost hurts a little bit i think i need i need like an iv so funny story i think every single guy i've ever talked to or something or i don't know if mercury retrograde is happening or what the fuck's going on but every single man that i've ever talked to apparently goes to my gym and i'm running into this week i think i shared it on here but a guy who was the bouncer at a club I went to in Positano last summer who was like obsessed with me and was like I want to marry you like all this stuff comes up to me yesterday at my gym and he goes I knew I recognized you were you in Positano last summer and I was like yes and he was like do you remember me he was like I was the bouncer at that beach club and I was like oh my gosh and he was like I just moved here and like this is my gym I live right around here and I'm just like no fucking way i run into you here at my gym like that's somebody it's like i never thought i was gonna see that man again i was being a total menace that night in post tunnel when you never think you're gonna see somebody again and then you see them again i was just like this is crazy there's that <laughs> and then yesterday i'm walking into the gym from my car and this guy in the parking lot screams across he goes nicole and i was like yeah and i like start to walk closer i'm like do i know this person will i recognize this person still don't recognize him and i'm just like hi and he's like you don't know who i am and i'm like no i'm sorry like did we meet and he was like you really don't remember me and i was like no like no i don't i was like have we met like where did we meet remind me jog my memory then i'll remember you he was like you made a tiktok about me and i'm just like i make a tiktok a lot of, about a lot of people i'm sorry <laughs> like, like which one and he was like blah, blah, blah. and i was like still really not remembering but like it was starting to come back to me which is like a little bit scary <laughs> i was like i'm sorry i make a lot of tiktoks but like did i say something bad <laughs> like do i not like you and he was like no it was funny he was a guy who he was in my dms for a while and finally i kind of like responded and was like okay fuck like i'll just give this man a chance whatever he's like I looked at his profile he's cute he has like one picture on his social media we made it we planned a date and then the day of our date he like never followed up so i was like okay fuck you never talked to him again and then he like reached out to me a few times eventually i answered him and i'm just like i don't know why you're acting like you weren't the one who didn't follow up on our date like i'm not answering you because we had a date planned and you didn't follow up i'm not about to waste my time with you and he was like what do you mean i called you and i facetimed you you didn't answer i'm not really a big texter and i'm like but you could have texted me like if i didn't answer your call or facetime which i was like i did not receive you could have just texted me and he was like well i don't know you just like weren't answering me as so i thought no so after that i was kind of like whatever he asked me out again and i was like i don't know if i should go out with him whatever i made a tiktok about it like i don't know if i should go out with him guys should i give him a second chance and you guys were like no like fuck him so 
I also just was like in Austin at the time. I wasn't really, I didn't really care. And I was just kind of like, meh, we'll see. And then totally forgot he existed. This was like, so that was back in February. We're now in June, four months later. And I run into him and I'm seeing him today. <laughs> He was like, we could start off as friends. He's like, I think the TikTok was funny. I'm not offended. I don't, he doesn't even use social media, which I love. So catch me talking about him and all the platform. No, I'm kidding, but well, not really. But he was like, where were you coming from? And I told him I was coming from yoga. And he's like, I've always wanted to try yoga. And I was like, well, you can come with me one time. And then he was like, okay. And I was like, I'm going tomorrow if you want to come. And he's like, okay, I'll pick you up. So he's picking me up and we're going to yoga. So this might give me the egg. Whatever. I just kind of like starting with front off as friends with somebody to see if I even like like you and it takes the pressure off. So we're just gonna hang out and go to yoga and then go to the gym after. But yeah, that's the update on that. I'm gonna do leg day uh, and we're doing hot vinyasa yoga. Probably won't take you there because like I don't want to film. Whatever, he has to pick me up in 50 minutes. So he better not be late. He told me he's gonna text me in the morning and he hasn't texted me yet. It's 11 a.m. I don't really know if I like where this is going, but it doesn't matter because we're just friends. And I will literally go to yoga without his ass if he doesn't text me in like 10 minutes. Okay, we're all ready for yoga. I'm wearing my favorite onesie from TLF. You guys know the one. But to switch it up, I put their little tank top over it. I was like, this is cute. I love this tank top. I know it's just a tank top, but you know how hard it is to find a good tank top. So I'm gonna buy it in every single color. And then I head to hot yoga and I'll see you guys at the gym. How is yoga? Yoga's great. <laughs> Tiring, exhausting, fun, uh, hard. It's not like working out where you work out to failure like in a set. This is like you're challenging yourself to failure. So it's like stretches that you're not normally doing, you're doing, and then you you get fatigued and you reach failure, but it's so humbling and I like it a lot. It's fun. If you're willing <laughs> I had to record this, I'm making you do it again. <laughs> you're lying. Oh, no, so no, rude. no. But if you're willing to do it, if you're willing to fail, you have to try this. Any guy that okay. goes to the gym has to try it. I mean, should every guy do yoga? Every guy should do it. I'm doing it again. I'm probably gonna do it weekly now. It's gonna help my workouts. I mean, I felt great in there. Uh -huh, yeah, and you don't feel weak. Like you feel, you feel like you're, it's almost like if you're gonna do it and then go to the gym like we're doing now, it's yeah. definitely worth it. Love it. Okay. Yeah, I'm Good. doing it again. Good. <laughs> Good morning, guys. It's Saturday morning. I'm so sorry. I totally failed you yesterday. I didn't record any of my workouts. I didn't record my night. I ended up having such a relaxing, oh my gosh. Spooky. I ended up having such a relaxing girls night in and painting with my girlfriend and ordering sweet green after my leg day. My hammies are a little sore this morning, but we are exactly four weeks out from my bikini showcase. We're really good. I mean, we've been serious, but that's it. It's just been four weeks out. Nothing's really changing. I'm making my oatmeal this morning because I'm on my period. Whenever I'm on my period, I'm just hungrier. If I'm hungry, I shouldn't fast on my period. It's like almost 9 a.m. I'm making this. I'm going to a hip hop flow. I have no idea what to expect. Today, uh, that's at 11. And then we're gonna go straight to the gym and then do a little like Trader Joe's run maybe. So I feel like Saturday, it's actually turning out to be an okay day. It was supposed to be gloomy. I'm gonna put berries in the oatmeal today. So it's gonna be raspberries, blueberries, Tea's playing with something on the floor. Coconut, peanut butter. I love peanut butter when I'm on my period. Yeah, so I'll take you guys with you throughout my day today. Yeah, I don't know what to expect from this hip hop flow though. Don't know if I'm gonna be doing like hip hop moves. Oh, I went to yoga with that guy yesterday that I told you guys about. Um, he did great, he loved it, he wants to keep going. And we'll see, I'll keep you guys updated on that. He was a good time, he was a good, he was a good sport. I'm posting a reel on that, actually. That's like my love language. When somebody says they've never had something or done something, and it's something that I really enjoy, I'm like, well, I'm taking you, I'm gonna give you the best experience. And I want you to love it because I love it. And then we have something to like bond over. That's my love language. That's why I cook for people too. If they like really like something or haven't had something, I'm like, well, let me make it for you. And they try it and then we can bond over the food. That's why I love sharing food at restaurants. And people don't want to like share meals or split meals. I'm like, what? Because I want to like bond with you over it. I want us to both love it. <laughs> like when I cook for people, I just want to watch them eat it. I'm like, let me just watch you eat it and enjoy it. Like that's my satisfaction, if that makes sense. But anyways, this oatmeal looks really good. I haven't had oatmeal in a minute, guys. I thought it was gonna be rainy. This would have hit better in the rain, but it's fine. Florida weather is crazy. Or one second it'll be raining, the next second, it'll be like it never happened. You literally get gaslit by the weather here. <laughs> it's like, what, rain? 
You packed an umbrella, idiot. <laughs> this is the oatmeal. Can you see it? Is it focusing? This is the peanut butter. It's so good. It has like coconut in it. I just really enjoy it. I think it'll be good with the berries. A nice, healthy scoop of that. Some salt. Oh. Also, skin update. My skin is starting to peel. Like, flake off from my microneedling treatment. I don't know if you guys can tell. Probably not. This camera's not high def enough. But, look at how jiggly it is. There she is. That's the lighting she deserves. All right, we're gonna eat this, and then I'll see you guys uh, at yoga. Okay guys, we just got to Boxer. I'm literally parked in a bush. <laughs> um, but hip hop yoga was so good. Uh, it was basically just a normal yoga class with hip hop music, which I love. A little Drake, a little R&B. It was a vibe, it was a vibe. But I got super sweaty. I'm gonna do that again for sure. Now we're gonna head into the gym. I'm gonna do a little arm day. I'm probably gonna do some handstands and then we'll see. But yeah, that's the vibe right now. Okay, we're back from the gym. I look and see, I've never been this sweaty in my life. I've never been this sweaty in my life. I'm like cold, my clothes are heavy. I think if I like were to go like that, pools of sweat would fall out. Ended up just doing sprints and then doing handstands. And then that was it, I was there. I ended up, I mean, what time is it now? I didn't know I was at Trader Joe's. I left for yoga at 10.30, it's now like 4 p.m. Where does the day go? We'll do a quick haul. Okay, so I got nectarines, but then she told me, she swapped these out for me. She goes, you need to get the summertime fresh white nectarines. They're so much better. She gave these to me for free because she was like so passionate about it. So they smell really good. They smell really sweet. We got cucumbers. We got our dates, strawberries. They were only $2.99. Granted, they don't look that great. I got the best looking ones, but $2.99. Avocado. Then I got organic coconut water, organic coconut smoothie. I like to use that in my smoothies. My vegan creamy dill dressing. We got a kombucha. I love the passion fruit tangerine. I got a green juice, but I drank it in the car. I got my little macro bars and my RX bar. Sweet potatoes. Chili lime seasoning arugula, beef jerky, bananas, brainless granola, 
gala apples. Oh, I like this grainless granola because the ingredients are the best. It has almonds, dried coconut, sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, coconut, sugar, tap po tapioca syrup, chicory root fiber, coconut oil, sea salt, and that's it. Tea salt. Pears. I love pears. They look really good. I got some of my ground beef. Then I got the grass-fed beef steak, which I think I'm gonna have for dinner. I'm kind of craving a steak, like a steak and potato. And ground turkey. And that was my haul. But I'm gonna end the video here. I need to jump in the shower. Um, I hope that, I don't really know, I think this, I think you guys saw a little bit of, a, I'm gonna put in clips of my workouts and stuff. I'm gonna keep updating you guys with nutrition stuff, what I'm eating, what I'm doing, my workouts, and just little pieces of my life here and there because really it's all about balance at the end of the day. I just wanna show you guys what I'm cooking for dinner. After that Trader Joe's haul, I was like, I need a steak tonight, I deserve it. Saturday night just feels like steak and potatoes. I have this little salad, just a plain salad, avocado, carrots, cucumber, vegan dill dressing, of course. I'm making steak, caramelized onions. I'm gonna put a little of those in the salad and then I have potatoes in here. And that's gonna be my Saturday night dinner. It's not even 6 p.m. yet, I'm starving. <laughs> it's gonna be an early night. The idea of going out doesn't even cross my mind anymore. I'm trying to stay really focused and I surround myself with really good people who don't really enjoy that stuff either and we're all really similar in the sense of like the things that we want out of life and what we enjoy. I don't feel pressure from any of my friends to be like, let's go out, let's rage, let's drink, all this stuff. My friends are like, do you wanna go to Pilates in the morning? I'm like, yeah. Do you wanna go to the gym? You wanna to go to the beach? Tomorrow we're going to Voo Church. We're going to brunch in Voo Church. So that's like an exciting little journey. I like building my relationship with God, which is weird to say, but true. So yeah, a lot of like really good changes happening and I feel really, I would say like these last couple weeks, I've been like getting back in my groove and feeling more like myself and this week, the end of this week specifically, I just, someone um, swiped up on my story and was like, you just seem really in your feminine. Like I can feel it. I can feel your energy through the phone and that's how I feel. I feel really at peace and happy and I'm just like receiving and I'm receiving so much good energy from other people. I just feel really energized and really unapologetically myself again, which is nice. I feel like content right now is coming easy to me because I'm doing things that I'm aligned with and I'm loving what I'm creating. So it's just been really nice. Anyways, I want to show you guys the finished product. I feel like I owe that to you. Steak, onions, potatoes, salad. And this is my night. Oh. I love you all so much. And I hope that you guys have a great week. Make sure you're following me on Instagram, Snapchat, and TikTok. Love you. Oh, and if you're not subscribed, subscribe to this channel. <laughs>